we will do a problem in limits it is a simple problem limit x tends to 1 root of 1 minus cos 2 cos 2 x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 so directly before applying applying this uh, x directly applying the limit into the equation whenever whenever they give you whenever they give you a question regarding limits first step check whether we can reduce this equation further once if you reduce this equation further then it will become very easy for me to apply the limit so now uh, when i was discussing trigonometry the basic basic video lecture trigonometry i said a formula for sin square theta if you remember it is 2 sin square theta will be equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta just if you are not aware of this just go back to the basic video lecture then you will find this find this formula and then you can take it down um, 2 sin square theta equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta here theta is nothing but x minus 1 right here what is there 1 minus cos 2 x minus 1 and x minus 1 is nothing but my theta so instead of 1 minus cos 2 x minus 1 I could substitute 2 sin square theta so what will happen to my what will happen to this equation this equation will be reduced further to root of 2 sin square x minus 1 right root of sin square x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 so which will be equal to now apply the limit now apply the limit wherever x is there apply 1 so what will happen root of 2 sin square 1 minus 1 by sorry square 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 and this square root and this square and the square root is getting cancelled off so root of let me let me write it another step limit x tends to 1 x tends to 1 root of 2 into sin x minus 1 by x minus 1 just this square and the square root is getting cancelled off so sin 1 minus 1 by 1 minus 1 what is this this is 0 what is this this is 0 so it is 0 by 0 which is indeterminate form sin 0 is 0 and x minus x which is also 0 so it is indeterminate form so what is the next step I need to differentiate the numerator I need to differentiate the numerator and the denominator separately which is Helopithal rule so limit x tends to a sorry x x tends to 1 and if I differentiate the numerator it will be root 2 into differentiating sin it will be cos and if I differentiate x minus 1 it will be 1 so divided by and differentiating the denominator it will become 1 so now substitute now substitute x tends to 1 in this case what will happen cos of 1 minus 1 will be cos 0 which is nothing but which is nothing but uh, which is nothing but 1 so limit x tends to 1 limit x tends to 1 sorry uh, I am directly substituting I am directly substituting the value 1 here so if I substitute it it will be root of 2 into cos 1 minus 1 by 1 which will be root of 2 so if you see in this problem we got the we got the answer root of 2 here right but it is also directly we can get it from this equation also how if I substitute x equal to 1 here and x equal to 1 here this will become 0 this will become 0 so 0 by 0 again indeterminate form so what I need to do I need to differentiate the numerator and differentiate the denominator separately and again I need to apply the limit I can do that but by doing this your differentiation your differentiation that is the step is getting reduced it is somewhat easier to do it is somewhat easier if you convert this term into sine term so that is what I said whenever you are starting the limit problem first check whether can you can you reduce the equation further can you simplify the equation further if you simplified the equation then if you substitute the limit value then it will be somewhat easier rather than directly substituting the limit value so we will proceed to the next problem.